How's it going guys? Uh, I've been working on the car quite a bit. It's been a while since I've done an update. But uh, I've been working on the some of the oil lines and the, the gas lines. And these stainless steel hoses are a pain in the ass to get in these uh, compression fittings. So at first I thought I measured, measured the inside diameter of this and the outside diameter of this. And this is quite a bit smaller. So I thought there's no way this is going in here. And so I ended up ordering more fittings because I thought I had got the wrong ones. I thought I had gotten some for just the rubber hose. So I made sure when I ordered these, these specifically said stainless steel braided hose. And when I got them, they were the exact same thing and I was disappointed. I thought they had sent me the wrong thing. But what I had actually happened is these are uh, the right things for them. But it's so hard to get these in here until I found this tool online uh, that you have to buy and I think it's 50 or $100 I can't remember how, how much it cost but I thought you know I could build something like that uh, and 3D print it out so that's what I did I 3D printed this out and you can see what it is is you put the compression fitting in here and then it has a ramp up to get that uh, get the stainless steel hose in there and so you just put that on both sides and then clamp it in your vise and then when you're cutting off your, your stainless steel hose you want to make sure you tape it and then cut it with whatever method you're doing they make some really nice uh, hand crimp or hand uh, cutters for them you can also just use a standard standard cutoff wheel on an angle grinder and then you just take that tape off you want to make sure you get the tape off find where it starts there it is and once you get that tape off I like to put a little WD-40 on there just to make it go in a little easier Make sure that's clamped down good and you stick it in there. You twist it back and forth a little bit. Push it in there real good. And you take it out. You can see that's how easy it was to get that in there. And I can't tell you how hard it was without this tool. Like my stuff ended up looking like this. Completely hard to get in that, that end. Uh, I'm not going to do a full video on you know how you do everything, but this is how you get this into here, and then you just take your uh, other end of your fitting, put a little oil on it. They make some really nice tools to hold this in the vise. I'm a lot more about function than I am form, but you can get those so you don't mess up your stuff, mess up the nice uh, anodized finish. And you just shove that in there, get it started by hand first. Then you grab your wrench, which they make some really nice adjustable A and wrenches and some, some non adjustable A and wrenches too. I just use a standard crescent wrench because, like I said, I'm all about that function. And then you just twist it on there. I like to line them up, line up the fittings. I guess that's not too much function. I guess that's a little form, but you can do whatever you like. And you can see that is your no hassle and fitting uh, assembly. So I will be posting the uh, STL files for these online, probably on Th Thingiverse. So anybody can go and download them and, you know, make it a lot easier. I made the 10 an one, but you should be able to scale that for 8 an 6 an you know, whatever sizes you need to need to work with, you should be able to scale it. So that's how you put together the uh, AN fittings easily. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more, uh, you know, 
uh, quick how-tos to do things easier and updates on the, the car. I've made quite a lot of progress. Um, hopefully, I'll get it started up pretty soon. Uh, just subscribe for more. Like, comment uh, if you have any questions or, you know, just want to tell me how cool what I'm doing is or how I'm a freaking idiot and I should not be working on anything and I'm going to kill myself. You know, just comment down there and do whatever you like. See you guys later.